Battlefield Battleship. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Well, you're probably thinking to yourself, why am I doing this video on Sunday for? You know I do not upload on weekends. Well, it's kind of a special video because I am doing a video only on South Carolina herself. Yes, I am talk I am basically thinking to myself everything I'm gonna say in this video is personal opinion. And South Carolina, in my opinion, deserves to have the title of the slowest battleship in the game. So, without further ado, let's look at our, our upgrades. So we're currently running secondary battery mod, propulsion mod, target acquisition and utility plotting room. And also, I'm running the permanent camo and the South Carolina flag that is with the ship as well. And permanent camo. And we're not running Willy Sims because this battleship is built for secondary, so. But also, Armor Rise, like every standard tier 3 battleship, you have 16mm of battle playing. So your own guns, or higher, will overmatch your 16mm of battle plating. But if you just realise you have you have a bit of bit of 38 millimeters just sticking under there, so if you're aiming aiming for that um, 60 millimeters, aim a bit high. You should go straight through it and hopefully get a penetration, because it's guaranteed penetration through the bow. If you aim low enough, you will ricochet of 38 millimeters. There's nothing in the game overmatch the uh, 38 millimeters, including Yami. Citadel wise, it is slightly raised, so if you go flat broadside, you deserve everything you get. But because how frequently low the hit points is, it basically means it's death off the bat. See, 29,000 hit points, that's even lower than my Wyoming's, and also has absolute terrible to appear damage reduction at 13%. Not to mention, you still have the standard 12 inch guns at tier 3. Also, your secondary armament is fairly decent, 6.6 kilometers. No, no decent, but your your guns turn in 40, 45 seconds, so it's garbage. But hey, at least it's not the bloody Chrysler. But now this is why I get to speaking about the speed. 15.8 knots. It takes basically takes the trophy. Uh, basically takes the crown of being the slowest battleship in the game. So like I said, she's agile, we already talked about that, and also we already talked about the secondary battery range. Like I said, she is small as hell, and she's slow as hell. Basically, consider the sea as a small Wyoming, basically, without the two extra turrets. Well, let's take her out for a game, shall we? As I do not upload videos on on weekends, because I normally would like some, unlike a break from uploading, but then I will upload, basically... Like weekdays, Monday to Friday, that's the standard schedule. Alright, so we're on estuary domination. And we're in the South Carolina. So let's pray that we don't get ourselves absolutely demolished because remember, anything 12 inches and above will overmatch. And by the last things, we are top tier. No, we're not. Never mind. Oh, never mind, I lied. And we have another South Carolina. Alright, All right. this looks like it's going to be a fun match. The only issue with this is the Wyoming. See, this is going to showcase how slow the South Carolina is. See, only half speed, 8.6 knots. That is ridiculous. By now, I would already be in position for cross firing. So essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pushing towards the A cap. I know I, I know it's a bit of a dumb idea, but I have to get a video on the damage and also the, and also how well the ship performs anyway. Because I talked about the secondary barriers, but I have basically the main. They may set the standard load out, basically. I saw them saying. They have the four guns. Just like the Blade New Mexico and all that, but they have twin mounts and they're 12 inches. Okay. 
So, if I can put a suggestion in to a, one good thing about this, it turns fantastically well, and also the accuracy can be a bit troll, can be a troll sometimes. Not to mention you have absolutely terrible concealment, if you look at my radar, you have absolutely terrible concealment. But you cannot get concealment mod on this, I've already checked. You can get concealment, concealment mod any, um, for basically tier 6 and up, because of the new update. And it's going to be a while before I probably get to the other side. Because this thing is small as hell. I'm just looking at who we have on this side. Well, we do have a Wyoming, so that's a good sign. Oh wait, I think there might be a wire on that. Nah, it's just two cruisers, never mind. I was looking at the wrong spot. So like I say, it's gonna basically take like a full couple of minutes just to get around the side, but because of how bloody slow she is. Oh god. Yeah, this dude knows what he's doing. Oh god, I thought that was him. Oh, I the wire being there. Alright, now this is going to showcase how boy the accuracy is. I'm going to wait until it goes flat broadside because... I've never actually... Well, oh, that's that new bloody French. What's the name? I should overmatch him. Should be able to. Let me see how accurate these are. Yes. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna have to slow it all the way down though. Acknowledged. I might actually be able to death strike one of these, provided the destroyer doesn't push them. Oh my god, you're an absolute... Oh, I think... Yeah, that's right, I aimed a bit too high into the superstructure. Acknowledged. Yeah, and Ali's gonna return fire. The ship is on fire. Enemy crews excited. Problem solved, sir. Two shadows. But I'm angled, so I should be alright, but I have to look out for this Kuma. Here he is. Confirmed penetration. Finish him, destroyer. The ship is on fire! Yeah, it should be my south for him. Yeah, there we go. Enemy cruiser sunk. Problem solved, sir. 
I'll have to take care of that phoenix. Yeah, so he's he's bugging out Cario. Right. Well, at least I managed to get a fire spamming. Who's got me spot? Oh my god. No, oh, I have to get this white thing turning as fast as possible. I want to get get absolutely game bang. Problem solved, sir. Oh my god. Why fire HG at me, dude? The ship is on fire! Oh god. See, that's one of the reasons why I do not recommend South Carolina. She has just far too much. She has what? She has very, very low OHP, and you will get absolutely smacked in it. So overall, I was running Willisley for the um for the secondaries, but I would probably recommend probably Willie Sim William Sims just so you get your HP buff. Well, that's all I've got for you. Take care. Two battleships.